I first heard about the Chassep competition when I read an article in the Ukrainian law newspaper, a sentence which uh, actually inspired me to, to participate in Chassep, that the participation in this competition is voluntarily. The 2006 season, we participated, but we didn't make it to the finals. And when we were on our last, years of last year of studies, it was 2000, uh, 2007 season, we were doing our master's degree. We um, applied for JASIP for the third time. We participated in it and we uh, won the, the, national, uh, the national round uh, here in Kyiv. And this was the first time when the team from Kyiv Mohila Academy not only advanced to the final in, Ky in the national round, but also won the final. So we went to DC and in DC we also did quite well. We ranked number nine in the overall rankings, uh, in the overall ranks of preliminary rounds, which until now is the second best result which Ukraine ever achieved. When I graduated, I wanted to stay with the competition. So first uh, couple of years I was um, advising uh, the team of Kiev Mohila Law School then I decided to judge, so I was judging the national rounds. And at some point um, I was judging uh, Ukrainian national rounds, I was invited to Lithuania to judge Lithuanian national rounds, and then I went to DC to judge international rounds in DC. Uh, after that I again uh, came to back to training um, teams, um, and I was unfortunately or fortunately, I wasn't training the team of, of, of my law school. As much as I wanted, uh, it was all fully booked. <laughs> but when I was judging the, the national round here in Kyiv, there was a, a team who, who was doing very great. They didn't win. And when we were chatting during the reception, I asked who, who, who was training you. And the guy said, nobody. I said, well, if you did so good without a coach, just imagine what you can do with a good coach. So that's how my relationship with uh, Kimo started. I coached uh, Kimo team for several years in a row, and uh, to my pleasure and to my satisfaction, twice the team of Kimo became the national champions uh, here in Ukraine. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm very proud of, of this achievement uh, because as, as a coach, I feel my tiny input into this result. And, um, I bet that all, a lot of people who've been through participating, coaching and or judging will tell you that uh, it's always best to be the participant. It's something where you uh, use your legal skills, your advocacy skills, your creative skills. For example, when we were participating, there was a case uh, of some uh, forced labor and uh, the, the other team was arguing that this was slavery. We said it was not slavery. So these people were giving a bag of sorghum. So they said, we said, well, they were given this bag of sorghum. So what I did, I researched this sorghum and I found out that it's fifth most important crop in the world. It's rich with antioxidants and so on and so forth. And I, and I pleaded that during, during my pleadings. For me, the JASAP is you're, you either win or you lose. So you either win the national championship and you go, competing or, or you don't win the national championship. The input of, of the coach is, is a very small one, is, is a very tiny one, but there is still this, this input and, and you can see the result of your work. And then if we're talking about the judge's role, it's, I think it's the most easy and the most fun part. First of all, it's easy because you don't have to do research. You're being given a bench memo, you read the bench memo, you even have the list of suggested questions. So it's, it's, it's kind of easy. Of course, the good judges do their own research. They go beyond the bench memo. But basically, you, everything you need to know is, is there in this book. And you just ask the questions and try to give the students a hard time. Uh, first of all, this is a, an important training exercise. Training as, as, as their, for their future careers. Because you train your research skills. You train your um, advocacy skills. You train your drafting skills. This is something which has a huge value for you as future, for, for the students as future lawyers. Secondly, you have to treat this, this very seriously. There are a lot of teams, a lot of strong teams participating in Ukrainian competition. Ukrainian national uh, championship is, is, is very challenging, is, is on a very high level. You have to go beyond your limits if you want to, to succeed. Spend as much time as possible doing research, discussing the research, 
amongst uh, among your team members, discussing the research results with, with your coach, uh, uh, drafting the, the memorials, uh, giving the memorials to proofread to each other, to your coach, and then definitely when you've submitted the memorials, you have to prepare for the oral rounds. You have to practice, 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 and you have to do as much practice rounds as possible. I was once in DC at the workshop for, for the coaches, and there was a coach who, uh, who was training one of the uh, one of the teams from Latin America, and uh, they, they 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 ranked quite high uh, the, the the previous year. So there was the coach from the previous year. So he said that they did at least two hundred practice rounds. Two hundred practice rounds. That's that's more than two practice rounds per day. The chess of compromise is always based on real facts. I'm always telling this to my students. This is the real problem which is happening somewhere in the world. And if you want to be a good, good team, find this problem. Find a leaking pipeline. Find a troubled indigenous people. Find this problem. Try to, to, to go deep into the details and, and find something which will impress the judges with, with the extent of your research. During the international rounds in DC, they're always announcing the topic of the following season's compromise. First of all, we were not surprised to hear the, the, that, that the Crimea issue has been included into the JASA compromise. And uh, secondly, we were very excited about it. So I think this year's competition will be very interesting, and uh, especially for, for the Ukrainian students. Well, this is, this is the biggest, the oldest, the most prestigious, the, 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 the. And there are many requirements for a team to be successful. The success of Jessup is not uh, relax and enjoy. You have to enjoy, but you can never relax. That's for sure. You have to understand that uh, Jessup is something which will consume half a year of your life. And mostly, since you are, since you are a student, most of this will be your personal life. Because this is a voluntarily thing. This is extracurricular activity. You have your studies for which uh, you, you're paying money or the government is paying money, you have to study. But then you're doing something extra and this is, this is, this is Jessup, this is something extra. And if you, if you do not invest your time, if you do not uh, enjoy doing this, nothing will work. In order to participate in Jessup competition, you have to first find a group of people who is ready to work hard and a lot, find a good coach who's ready to guide you through the process, you have to register for the competition, research a lot, forget about weekends, and also you have to be law students.